Hey everyone, in this video I'll be explaining day 6 of Advent of Code 2022. You'll see a time lapse of me solving the puzzles, and then I'll be explaining my solutions afterwards. As usual, you can find my code in the description below in the GitHub repository, it's linked. And also if you want to join my private leaderboard, there's uh, 21 people now. So um, check out the code in the description to join. All you have to do is go to leaderboard, um, private leaderboard, and then you can enter a code here to join mine. Okay, anyways, um, on with the video. So I did not place onto the global leaderboard today, but I did at least get top 1000. I think today's puzzle was as much about speed as skill. So let's go through the puzzle and I'm going to explain each of the parts and then go through my solutions. So for part one, what we have to do is we're given a data stream buffer because um, the elves communication system is broken and they have heard that we have significant experience dealing with the signal based systems. So there have been a lot of puzzles about signal-based systems before, basically parsing the signal and detecting features within it. Um, what we're asked to do is we're given a string that contains all of these seemingly random letters, and what we need to do is find the first four characters that are all unique. So in this example, there's M, J, Q, J, P, Q, M, etc. And the first sequence of four letters that are all unique does not appear until the seventh character. So here, J, P, Q, M is the first occurrence of four unique letters. Every previous contiguous subsequence of four letters um, is not unique because there's a repeated letter. So we just have to go through this long string. So our puzzle input is a pretty long string, I think thousands of characters, and we have to find first index where the previous four characters are all unique. So this is relatively simple to do in Python. What we have to do is read in our input. So standard data input output. So we just read it from our file, and then we get this long string, thousands of characters, in the variable data, and this is our data stream buffer. So next what we do is we iterate through the whole string. We're going to keep track of this variable called i, which keeps track of our index inside the giant string. Um, you can see we're going to iterate it, and then we're going to look at the next four characters. So that's how you do this in Python. We're going to index by the i to i to i plus to i plus four um, this is called string slicing and it just extracts between indices i and i plus four out of data not including the last one so this is just four characters and then what we're going to do is convert that string to a set and what a set is as a mathematical object it is a collection of items that are all unique so the python set function turns an iterable into a collection with all unique items so if there are any repeated characters in here set function is going to delete them and then all we have to do is simply check that there are four unique characters within our substring. If so, then we're good to go. We can just print out the answer, which is the last index, i plus 4. And this works out nicely enough with one based indexing, and we get our answer here. Uh, and then we can just stop the loop. Otherwise, we keep iterating, and that's what this i plus 1, i plus equals 1 is for. Okay, for part 2, what we have to do is do the same thing. Find the first occurrence in the data stream buffer of 14 distinct characters um, instead of just four. So this is basically the same thing. Our program works the same because Python set function is um, really fast. So all I have to do is change all this fours to 14s, and that'll check if the last 14 characters have all been unique. And if they are, then we can just print out i plus 14 to get um, the index where those unique 14 characters are. Um, so the one mistake I made during while solving the puzzle um, was using four here instead of 14. So I changed these two fours to 14s, but I forgot to change this one. So that gave me the wrong answer. Um, so I had a one minute penalty time, which is why I didn't get on the leaderboard. Actually, we can do a bit of investigation here. Um, just looking at the global leaderboard for day six, 100 person solved it in two minutes and 25. For personal stats, I solved it in four minutes 13. Okay, never mind. I probably wouldn't have made it onto the leaderboard anyway. But I think what slowed me down this time was really just reading the puzzle and figuring out what I needed to do. Because from the examples, it's not immediately clear what you need to look at. Um, the actual text is hidden up here. The actual useful instructions are hidden inside the um, story. But anyway, that is day six of Advent of Code 2022. I hope you enjoyed my explanations. I hope you found them useful. If you want to check out my code, that will be in the GitHub repository, as always, as mentioned previously. So be sure to check that out in the description. If you have any feedback, comments, questions, leave them in the description below. I will check them out at least for the month of December. And I'll see you tomorrow for day seven of Advent of Code 2022. Thanks for watching.